So, <laughs> basically, let's let's get into this uh, management engineering. Well, what you earn this degree is a Bachelor of Applied Science, and this is really the distinction uh, and the thing that makes us uh, engineers. Okay, engineers take science, they apply it to actually design and build solutions. So whereas if you were in science, you'd learn all sorts of fascinating things about it, they wouldn't be teaching you how to make things. What we're focused on in management engineering is actually making things. And the definition that I really like comes from a former student. Uh, management engineering is using mathematical models and software to optimize and improve systems. Now, that's, that's about as succinct as we can get, but it, it's sort of uh, nebulous. But by the end of the presentation, I hope you have a much better understanding about what this means to be able to, to, to make these models and implement them in software and so forth. Uh, but to give you an overview of the degree, you need to understand that management science really is sort of a nice interdisciplinary mix. We take uh, operations research and analytics. If you want to, it's basically the math component of the program. Um, we take software and information systems. If you don't want to talk about the science, it'd be computer science. And then we also have a component of people and organizations, which would be psychology and economics. And these three areas together form the basis of the program. Um, what it, what's, what's the curriculum? What are the courses? What are you going to take? Basically, all engineering programs have a set of fundamental engineering knowledge that you're going to need to learn. And so in management engineering, we'll have you take courses in chemistry, physics, You'll learn about electric circuits. You'll take thermodynamics, material science. There's a lot of math. You have three calculus courses. You have linear algebra. We've got two courses in probability and statistics for you. And we even have, yes, one more course that you have to take in English and communications. You're not done yet uh, with, with that. And with all of those things, you can see, well, those are real fundamentals to, to a career as an engineer. And, uh, but then what about the, the actual focus of the program? So yes, operations research, industrial engineering courses. There are a set of requi six required courses that students take. You start off learning in uh, your second term uh, about work design, facilities planning, basically how to arrange things and improve the functioning of people working on uh, assemblies and other sorts of things. We have optimization, and this is really a core part of the program. So it's building these models. How do we, act? so we sort of, we capture the world, what's happening in the process. We encode it usually in some form of a mathematical model, and then we can apply mathematical optimization to actually improve things. And so this is the first course, and you, you start to learn about how to optimize things. And then we then move into much more of the sort of industrial engineering style courses where you're learning about operations and planning, you're going to learn about stochastic models and methods, another optimization course, and supply chain. Okay. Then there's a whole bunch of really great electives that you can take, uh, more optimization, uh, more things dealing with the sort of probabilistic, stochastic nature of decision making, um, and the way that we you know, can manage and uh, monitor quality in systems, and then finally scheduling. So how do you actually put together schedules uh, for either order of operations, it could be your class schedules at the university, all sorts of things. This happens to be uh, an extremely challenging problem requiring sophisticated math and algorithms. So the other component, computer science, uh, as well, there are six required courses. And this progression uh, is really quite nice. You start off with a computer programming course. Have no fear, the computer programming course has no requirement that you have any sort of high school experience with computer programming. It will start you off from scratch and you'll basically learn how to program in that first course. The second course continues your programming education and moves you into a deeper understanding of the data structures and algorithms that are used. We next move you on to uh, working with software that will talk and store things with a database. And then finally you get into software engineering. And now in software engineering, we're gonna teach you how to work as a team to build even larger software systems. So as you go through these courses, the, the software systems get larger and larger that you're capable of building. And so by that time, you need a team to be able to build a, a system. Then we go into actually perhaps one of the more uh, complex things is actually considering how are you going to interface best with humans? Okay, so human-computer interaction is a very critical part of all these computer systems and we have a, a required course on that. 
And then finally, this decision support systems course. This is actually sort of a combination of the operations research side along with the information systems side. And the idea is that you're able to take those that mathematical models and the information systems and combine them together to build systems that managers would actually use to help them make better decisions. And as well, we have all sorts of uh, interesting electives in sort of this information systems area data mining, analytics, and user experience, uh, telecommunications or computer networking course, and even a search in, course on search engines. Um, people, organizations, and economics. Again, a set of four required courses. You learn, uh, all engineers actually in Canada have an engineering economics course where they learn the fundamentals of money, uh, organizational behavior, uh, how, really how do individuals in an organization function, uh, managerial economics, so more work about uh, economics, more at the management decision-making level, and then organizational design. So this is the broader, not so much the individual, but sort of the team and the organization for how does this work. And there's certainly electives that you can take to, to learn more about that area. Now, 